Today's video is all about Shoreline and how you can make massive profit by loot in certain locked rooms inside resort. I've done videos dedicated to money in the past, like whether the red key card was worth buying on the flea market, by the way, it's not, or whether the kibber keys were worth it if you bought them on the flea market. So now I'll be showing you certain keys that I recommend purchasing to make massive bank and easy profit. Throughout this video I'll refer to this map on screen and a link to it will be in the description of this video. This map will allow you to see what rooms I'm talking about and it'll allow you to see what rooms interlink with other rooms etc etc. So the first key I recommend you buying is the West Wing 221 key. You can get this for about 465k on the flea market. Inside this room there's a large grey weapons crate and loose medical items. The reason this key is so valuable though is because you can access room 218 and room 222 through the open balconies inside this room. 218 is the room everyone loves to go to because on top of the blue barrel has the chance to spawn the red key card which is worth over 30 million on the flea market. Also in this room there is weapon lockers, a bag to search and inside the bathroom on top of a cardboard box is a weapon spawn which has a chance for an RSAS to spawn on it. Going through the balconies to room 222, it has a chance to spawn a weapon on the bed, a medical bag and a duffel bag are both in there, and if you're heading out onto the balcony again, make sure you check in the right corner of the balcony because there is an M4 spawn there as well. Now you can also buy a room 218 key, however the lowest I found that was for 500k on the flea market, and you could buy this for 460k so you're saving yourself a bit of money if you buy the room 221 key rather than the 218 key because you've got access to all these rooms anyway. The next key is going to be the West Wing 220 key and this is a rather expensive key to buy at a solid 1 mil on the flea market however this is an absolutely amazing room. In the back right corner on a small cardboard box there is a gold spawn where you can find things like bitcoins, lions, gold chains and even roosters. But also in the room there are weapons crates and loose meds scattered around the place. So this room alone can give you about 300k if you get the right gold spawn. The key after that will be the West Wing 216 key. This is just down the hall from the room 220 closer to the barbed wire. And the room is lit up by this massive industrial light so you really can't miss it. Inside this room you can find weapons inside two weapons crates and the key only costs 338 on the flea market. Other than the weapons crates however you can find grenade boxes, a lot of loose medical items and on the chair has a chance to spawn an M4 standing upright with magazines underneath the chair as well. You can also find stuff like GM counts and all that stuff and you have to go there for a mission as well so the key is well worth the 330k in my opinion. We then want to head upstairs to room 301. This key sells for about 260k on the flea market and if you were to enter this room straight away you'll come across two massive white barrels which can spawn high tier items which include off molluscopes but make sure you check underneath the carpet just in front of the white containers because you can find tetrises that spawn hidden under the carpets. If you go across the balcony into the room 304 which interlinks from 301 and you look in the closest corner to the door on the desk you'll find another off molluscope spawn but other things like ibuprofens can spawn on there as well. There's also computers and a green weapons crate in here. In my opinion this room is well worth the visit because you can find up to two off molluscopes if you're lucky and that can give you massive bank anyway. So go to this room and then we can head across to the east wing. So once you've head across the sky bridge into the east wing, room 205 will be the first room that we'll be looting. 205 and 206 are linked through the balconies, but rather spending 550k on the 206 key, you can just spend an average of 475k for the 205 key. In this room, there are loose drinks and a duffel bag. You can also find a med box on the chair and a weapon spawn against the heater. You can even find a gold chain spawn inside the drawer on the top of the bed. And moving across to room 206 you can find three weapons crates inside the room and the weapons locker on the balcony. Continue all the way down the hall to room 226 where you can find the room on your left hand side. This room is once again connected to another room which is the 222 room which is also a very popular room to go to. It seems to be once again cheaper to buy the 226 key for only 444k 
rather than 500k for the 222 key. Inside 226 you can find a sniper spawn on the bed, a grey weapons crate, and you can find high tier medical items and off molluscopes on the cupboard behind the door. Moving out onto the balcony you can find a weapons locker and if you continue into the room 222 you'll see another grey weapons crate. There is also a weapons rack, a barrel where an mp5 can spawn on top of and there is a toolbox and a grenade box in there as well. Next to the toolbox you can find a workbench and the workbench can spawn anything that the toolbox does however you can also find computer parts there too including graphics cards. If you look directly behind you in the bathroom doorway there is an open cardboard box and that has a gold spawn inside where you can find bitcoins and lions there regularly. And finally once we've looted room 222 and 226 you make your way upstairs to room 310 and this is the more commonly known room for high tier loot. The key only goes for 150k on the flea market at the time of this recording and inside you can find two duffel bags which seem to have a higher chance of finding better items inside like paracords. I've found a lot of paracords which go for 50k on the flea market. You can also see two tables inside this room which all have rare gold item spawns like bitcoins, gold chains, lions, roosters and all that fun jazz. This room alone can make you a very heavy profit. If you decide to purchase all these keys on the flea market you could be spending just under 3.2 million, however one successful raid can give you about 700k on average. The key for a successful raid is finding low pop servers and for this I use eftstats.us and the link for this website will be in the description but this website is absolutely amazing because it shows servers in different regions in order of their popularity. It also shows you how many live players are in each region. So if you're looking to just hunt for good raids and good successful raids just to get money on the resort, I would go all the way down the bottom of the list of your region to find the least popular server. If you can't afford all of the keys shown in this video and spend the 3.2 million, I recommend going and looking at the list of the keys that I've put on screen. I've ordered them in sort of recommendation of what you should get first. So then you can get the most valuable keys in my opinion for the price and then you can once you've built up your money buy more of the keys to get more loot out of it. I recommend going in with an empty gamma container or empty secure container just so you can fit stuff in even if you die. And on average throughout my raids I had a 75% survival rate so I did die throughout this testing as well. But anyway guys thank you so much for watching this very quick breakdown of all the good loot rooms that are locked behind certain keys. There are also just random weapons crates in open rooms, go there as well if you see them. But these are very good rooms to just quickly run to and get straight out. On average you'll spend about 7-8 minutes in a raid and that's not bad if you're just running. Even pop stims to get yourself there quicker. But other than that guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it, that's enough talking fast for me. I will see you in the very next video. It'll probably be Escape from Tarkov because what else do I do, right? That's how I torture myself. I love you all, thank you for watching till the end. In the description there is all important links including my Discord, my merch store and all the links mentioned in this video. Thank you so much once again. I'm going to stop saying thank you. I'm going to go jerk off and enjoy my weekend. Kisses. <laughs>